Whether it takes place downrange or on a football field, a high energy impact can cause trauma or injury to the brain. Since 2000, over 240,000 soldiers, airmen, sailors and marines have been diagnosed with mild traumatic brain injury or MTBI, commonly known as concussions. The Army is fielding technology to help identify when a soldier has experienced a potentially concussive event and record data on the head motion and blast over pressure the soldier has experienced during that event. General Corelli, while Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, championed the effort from 2001 to 2010 to develop and field sensors to increase our understanding of the causes of MTBI. He has helped to introduce technologies like the helmet sensors and blast gauges to the Army to further concussion research and ensure soldiers receive the medical treatment they need. Well, I became interested in it when I became Vice Chief of Staff in the Army. I, I had no idea that the most prolific wounds we had coming out of the war were um, both post-traumatic stress and, and MTBI. I think what's key and critical is the Army is trying to understand uh, the effects and what the numbers mean when uh, individuals go through blast events. I think it's absolutely essential. And we can't say triage, um, we can say it, it's an alert. We can't say diagnostic because it's not a diagnostic. But I think it's absolutely critical that the leader know when he or she should have the individual who's gone through the event uh, move to a, another location where an expert uh, can make a determination of whether or not they've been affected by that blast event. You know, I've had doctors tell me, listen, I went through five or six concussions. I'm a, I'm a doctor today, so this, this can't be anything that would hurt you. Well, the fact of the matter is, it does. And, and if you receive a second concussion, we, we know this, if you receive a second concussion before the first one is healed, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna walk away with that with some serious cognitive issues that may not be reversible. And, and that's why what the Army is doing with these blast sensors is so absolutely critical. You are giving the leadership a tool that they can use to make a decision on whether or not uh, they should, in fact, evacuate that person to another level in the medical system where somebody can properly evaluate them and then take the right precautions uh, to put that person down for a period of time or at least not put them in a situation where they are, in fact, going to get a second concussion before the first one's healed. I mean, here, I live in Seattle with the World Championship Seattle Seahawks. The NFL has come to the decision that they're not going to allow players uh, to go back into the game and possibly suffer a second concussion until that first one is healed and they're cleared to go play. Now, if NFL football players are doing that, doesn't it make sense we would do the same thing with our soldiers? Helmet sensors and blast gauges were developed, procured, and are being fielded to deploying soldiers to provide commanders a rapid means to identify soldiers involved in potential concussive events. The chain of command can assist this effort by ensuring that blast gauge LEDs are checked prior to and immediately following missions. The effort will further benefit if helmet sensors are downloaded on a scheduled bi-weekly basis and downloaded in a timely manner following a known event. The chain of command also needs to ensure that soldiers receive MTBI medical evaluation when their helmet sensors and or blast gauges indicate that they have been exposed to a potentially concussive event. The Army solicits your support for the data collection mission to include providing support for the field service representatives, appointing dedicated soldiers to act as unit representatives, and making soldiers available for all sensor issue activities. The Army thanks you for your support and participation.